have all of our assets to make the game I'm trying to stay organized so we have them into their different parts of animation maps or materials our prefabs our scenes and then our scripts We are right now in the middle of making level 4. We're going to spell out applesauce all the way across. And we'll put the end of the level at the end of the hallway. Here is our script to load the next level. We're going to use the scene management of the unity engine and we're going to access our scene manager we're going to tell it to load a scene and what we're going to do is we're going to use the build index so we don't have to use names we're going to have it get the active scene we're going to have the build index of that scene and we're going to add one so if we go back into unity our build index just every time it'll go up by one so we can load more levels Here is our movement script. We have our public variables so we can create references to the rigid body and the jump height and the side speed is so that later if we want to change our jump height we don't have to change it every time and for our side speed we don't have to go through and change all of them we just have to change this number. Here is our enemy, so we're going to get the collision info, and if the tag that the enemy has is enemy, then it's going to cancel the movement, and then we're going to find the game manager, and we're going to have it run its function and game. Made a game manager to tell the game what to do if it completed a level or if the player failed to complete it. If we won, we're just going to set a UI that we made to show that the level was completed. We're going to set that to true to, to show up and then if they lost, we're going to run restart which just loads the scene over again. Basically what I'm saying here is that I make an invisible box, this box. You can't see it, you can't get on it, it's just invisible, all you can do is go through it and when you do it creates a trigger. This trigger will set the animation to go off so you complete the level and go to the next one by finding the game manager and running its function complete level.